Hi, I'm Kim Brown. Glad you could join me today. When I was a child, there was a commercial on television that said a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Well, now I would rephrase that statement to instead say, it's a terrible thing to waste a mind. Your mind is amazing. Now, I haven't always used my mind, and I'm not here today to tell you that I'm using it to its fullest potential yet. When I actually discovered I had a mind, I found it under layer after layer after layer of dust. And since back then I was allergic to dust, <laughs> I wasn't going nowhere near that thing. Somebody else would have to do it. Somebody else would have to fix it. Transformation was not easy, simple, fast, quick, instant for me. It was not rainbows and unicorns. I tapped twice a week with my practitioner friend and I tapped every day on myself. And what I didn't realize back then that I was doing was that I was removing micro layers of that dust until one day I saw a glimmer of light and curiosity was awakened within me. And I remembered another statement I heard often as a child. Inquiring minds want to know. So I began to seek and ponder and ask questions with intention, ask questions to discover, ask questions like following a map to the treasure. Questions like, what created that? What reinforces and supports that? And asking myself that all powerful question, do I wanna keep and protect this? Or do I wanna release it and let it go? And I'll tell you something, there are no why questions on that treasure map. Why questions seek excuses. Why questions are looking for somebody or something to blame. Why questions reinforce my current state. Why isn't this working for me? Well, that's why and that's why and that's why and good grief, how could you have forgotten that? Of course this isn't gonna work for you. Why questions reinforce victimhood? But what if you could begin to discover more powerful, thought-provoking questions of discovery? Questions like, what does that mean? Where did that come from? What occurs before I experience this problem? What's the benefit of me having this problem? Who benefits if I keep this problem? Who suffers if I keep this problem? What are the references, the resources, the proofs that I should keep, accept, and support this problem? What are the other options? What are the references, the resources, and the proofs that there are other options? If there are no other options, how do you know? Who benefits if I let this problem go? Who suffers if I let this problem go? And asking again and again, how do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Consider this. If that habit of thinking, doing, and being is good for me, would it not be okay for me to discover that? To see it more clearly? To understand it and appreciate it more fully? If that habit of thinking, doing, and being isn't good for me, if it no longer serves me, if it isn't even true, would it be okay to discover that? To see that more clearly? To understand and appreciate it more fully? Maybe the first question that you would want to ask yourself is, do I prefer to allow something or someone else to do the thinking and choosing for me? Or would I like to give it a try? The most amazing experience you will ever have is the experience of discovering, using, and changing your own mind. Consider giving it a try. You really are worth it. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, no matter what you've experienced in the past, you don't have to stay stuck there. Today is a new day. 
See you next time.